Aloha everyone, it's Saya from Frozen Luxury, and I was tagged by a couple of you to do a video, my five most used bags in 2014. Now, um, special shout out to Just a Hawaii Girl, my boo Cassie, um, I'll put all of her information below. Be sure to find her on Instagram and like her and subscribe to her channel. Cassie and I are from the same island. Um, Oahu, Hawaii. So special mahalo to my girl Cassie. I hope your move went well. I enjoyed watching your video. Um, so my five most used bags for 2014. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at Frozen Luxury, you know I've got a ton of bags. Um, my friends always joke too, where do I keep all my bags? Well, I've got a lot. The closets are stuffed. Um, so let's get right into my five most used bags. I've got um, a Balenciaga in there, a coach, my Henry Bendel, and two vintage Louis. Now, I use these bags for a couple of reasons, just because I like how easy they are to carry. Um, I think they're all really cool, chic, some are edgy, and fun. So let's get right into it. So the first is my vintage Louis Vuitton Noé bag. I like this bag because I can just throw everything into it. Um, Nothing falls out. Even though it's an open bag, I've never had a problem with anything falling out. So I've been very happy with it. Just a great, great bag. Now this one, the date code is from, I want to say 82. Yep, 82. Um, and this bag I think is in perfect shape. Where else are you going to find leather this thick? Look at that. I mean, this bag really holds a lot of stuff and I've never had a problem with it. I think it's patinaed perfectly. There are some stains, but I'm okay with that. I think it just adds character to the bag. Um, again, I'm just very happy with it. This bag has held up so well, especially for how old it is. Um, I can cinch it, tie it off, put everything I need into it. And it's not a huge, huge tote, so it's just not like a endless hole of all of my stuff and junk and I'm digging around trying to find everything. So that's the first bag. Second is a newer one from Coach. Now, I believe this is called the toaster bag. I'll have to look it up again. It might be part of the bleaker line. I'll do a full review on this one. It's a very soft pebble grain leather. Um, I put a little Coach tag on there. Now, when you have things in there, the bag um, keeps its shape fairly well. Um, there's nothing in there, so it tends to be a little slouchy. This bag does come with a full crossbody strap. Um, again, I never use the crossbody or shoulder straps. I just store them in their dust bags. But I think this is a super chic bag. I love this burgundy color. It's got four gold feet, all gold hardware. Big zipper here. Satin lined with the Coach C's. And this bag has so much room in it. I can keep anything. I mean, this holds so much. There's two big pockets on this side. And I believe the Coach Creed is on this side. It is. There's a pocket there with the Coach Creed. Um, very, very happy with this bag. I think it's gorgeous. I was at Coach in the Galleria here and I saw this and immediately had to have it. The one on the shelf was in a cream or a white and I think I would just personally ruin that bag in that color and leather. Um, so the amazing sales gal brought it out in this burger and I said, yep, box it up. I will take it. Next is my reversible tote from Balenciaga. I am absolutely in love with this bag. So it's all silver leather on one side. The handles are vaquetta leather with canvas and the inside is suede. So when you change it out, um, this is a large tote. I love it because I can stick everything into it. I think it's just super cool and edgy. Um, it says Balenciaga Paris that side. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but it has all of the Balenciaga date codes there. Um, nice big zipper here, the kettle leather. The inside is suede again, um, so you can reverse it. I like having the silver out, and then like all Balenciagas, there's a mirror, and I just have another clutch um, on it. It's a Alexander McQueen clutch that I just keep in there for anything I need. So that's my nice big tote. Um, if I need to change it up and carry a little more. I have my vintage Louis Vuitton tote here. I love this bag. Love, 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 love. So this is um, when they were using treated leather. 
So again, I don't really have to worry about protecting the leather or if it's going to patina or not. Um, this is a great, amazing vintage piece. For how old it is, I think it's in really good condition. Um, the bottoms have a little wear and tear, which is fine. This bag is from the um, late 70s. Pockets on both sides, so I can easily set my cell phone into there. This bag has six feet, and the inside is in great condition. It's just a nice big open tote. I've got some stuff in there because, like I said, I use these bags. Um, and then you can see the Louis stamp. I don't know if my iPad will pick it up. But um, again, great, great bag. Um, different lining again because it is a vintage piece. Um, it's more coated leather. So I can pretty much use this any time of year, year round. Very, very happy with this. And my last bag, um, if you watch my videos, you know I'm a fan of Safiano leather. So this is the Henry Bendel West 57th Satchel in large, full Safiano leather. So I can take this bag and use it anywhere. Um, brown with all gold hardware, satin lined. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a great shaped bag. Again, this bag comes with um, a longer shoulder strap or crossbody strap. I don't use it, so it's just in storage and I just have two charms hanging off of it. One is um, a Henry Bendel charm. I cut myself at work. Um, and then um, a Juicy Couture luggage tag. I love using luggage tags as um, kind of a pop of color and its own kind of bag charm. Um, I got this one because those are actually my initials, JC, so I'm very happy with that. What's great is this bag has four feet. Um, this bag is probably about a year old. I'm very happy with it. There's practically no wear that shows on this. Um, so great. Again, Safiano leather. So if you walk by Prada, give them a nice wave for inventing Safiano leather. Um, this bag is fully satin lined. Again, the Bendel bow. I have a huge pocket there and then a cell phone pocket right under it. Um, if you have any questions or want a more detailed review on any of these bags, um, just leave a comment below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, share it with all of your friends, and um, be sure to visit Cassie's um, page for Just a Hawaii Girl on YouTube and Instagram. I hope everyone has a great day. Follow me on Instagram at Frozen Luxury. Have a fabulous day.